Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. Today we're going to go through the process of signing an application using Microsoft Azure Vault with your code signing certificate on there which you, we've previously imported in our previous tutorials. Here it is here. And we're going to use the Azure Sign Tool application to do the signing. If you're not sure how to do that, you can check out our previous tutorials on how to generate, configure and import a code signing certificate. This tutorial can be used for any code signing certificate, but we're going to be using it for a VeriKey or DigiCert certificate today. So, if you've got that certificate in there and you're good to go, the first thing we need to do in Azure is make a Microsoft Entra ID application. This is to give permission to the sign tool to actually connect to the Azure Key Vault and do the signing. So we'll go in here, App Registrations, and we're going to do a new registration. So we'll just give it a name, nice simple name, code sign, that's all good. And all these are pretty default, so we can register that. Now there are some values here like the application ID, which we will, we will need um, shortly, um, but we'll come back to these and get these values when we actually need them. So now we're just going to go to our desktop. Now we do need to actually download the Azure sign tool, and this can be accessed from GitHub. I'll paste this URL into the comments and written description, written um, guide for you and you can come on here and see how to do the installation. Today we're just going to use a pre-compiled pre -compiled one so we'll just go here and download this. Here we go. Okay so I've downloaded that and I've got that sign tool, Azure sign tool on my desktop ready to go. Here it is. Now we are going to run commands to actually do the signing and I've got those here for you and if you'll see that we've got some values that we need to enter like the vault URL, the cert name, application client ID and these commands are going to be run via the command prompt. So we'll just launch that command prompt and we got these commands. So we need to get these your these uh, URL, the cert name, application client ID, client secret, and all these values. Here's one I've already pre-filled. Pre I'll just delete that, so we're gonna do a new one. I'll have this command available in the written description and uh, the written guide for you. So we'll go back to Azure. And okay, so the first one, the application client ID, we'll just copy that. I do rec recommend doing it into a text edit file um, just so you can reuse it when needed, a bit easier than writing directly into the command prompt. So we'll just paste in that application ID. And we'll get the tenant ID, copy that. And we'll just paste it in here. Okay, so now we need a few now we need a client secret. This is actually giving the permission. Okay, so back here we'll go to our app, we'll go to the certificates and secrets. New client secret. Give it a quick description. Add. Okay, so we've got our client secret here. Copy that. Obviously, don't share that with anyone. And paste that in here. Okay, so that's all the application values that we need. Now we've got a few other values that we need from the Vault URL. So we'll go back to Azure, go to our Key Vault, find the one we've got. Okay, and we've got our vault URI URL here. So we'll just copy that. And we'll just paste that in. 
Now we need our certificate name from our certificate that we've previously created. Again, copy that. And paste that in. Okay, that looks all good. So now we just need to give permission to our application to actually access the key vault. So we're coming up here to access control. And we'll go through the add role assignment. Now we've got different roles here. So we'll just, for the easy, make it ease of use, we'll just uh, find a one for signing, okay, key vault. So we've got some different roles here for key vault. You can go through them all, check the details of each one to see what permissions you want to give. You might want to just give it user, officer. I would select, I would recommend checking the details, see what permissions you are giving. We're just going to give it admin, ease of use. And then we just got to select a member and find that application that we had previously created. Here it is, code sign. That's the one, select. And there we go, so we're just gonna review it. The code sign, that looks all good. Key vault admin. Okay, and assign. Okay, so that's the permissions have been given to the application now to actually do the signing. So that looks all good. So we'll go back here now. So we've got our command all ready to go, all the values. The only thing that we need to do is enter the actual file path of the application we want signed. Now I've got an application here ready to go. So search key manager. Just going to right click it and view the properties and digital signatures and we'll see that there is no signature it has not been signed and that's what we want to do today and so we want to pay, get that full path and put that in here so i'm just going to get the full command here um, obviously we need the correct file path so i'm just going to drag this in and that's just going to Put that uh, as your assigned tool application right there and ready to go. And we're just going to get this com entire command prompt ready to go. You can copy, paste that in. And then we just need to attach the file path of the application we want signing to the end of it. And that's going to get for the full file path. And that's good to go. And we're just going to submit that, press enter, and we'll see. Yep, so it looks like it's done the operation, successful, signed it. Okay, so let's go back to our application. And again, we're just going to go right click, view properties, digital signatures, and there we go, it's got a signature. And we'll just double click that, view that, and we can see the timestamp. Okay. That looks all good. So this is how you sign your application with the Azure Key Vault and Sign Tool application. Obviously, we're doing it for a very key. Um, so we've got the DigiCert timestamp server there. Um, this is used for very key and DigiCert code signing certificates. Um, but yeah, it looks like it was a success. And I hope you found this tutorial um, easy and good to follow. And there is the written guide you can follow too. Thanks for watching.